Hey there, welcome. This is The James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. Welcome back to the big show. Thank you. Good to see you too. Oh, shucks. You're so nice. Well, my next guest has been doing so much, I don't even know what to talk about first. He's been on the show a few times, but just doing a, a little review here. He's got like 18 things going on. Uh, Bo French, welcome back. He, this is the guy who runs the Tarrant County Republican Party. And uh, Bo, first, let me look back a couple days. I didn't know you had a debate at the NAACP against the Democrat chair of Tarrant County. How did that go? Well, James, first of all, thanks for having me on today. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, I thought, listen, I think given the polling uh, among blacks in this country uh, for Donald Trump, uh, you know, he's gone from 5% to 25%, which is, uh, you know, potentially going to create a landslide election for him in some of these blue states, uh, flipping them to his side. So, listen, I think it's important that. Um, I think, you know, most people of color in this country actually share the same values that the Republican Party has. Uh, they just have been, you know, lied to for so long by Democrats um, that, uh, you know, they've kind of fallen for the Democrats' dirty tricks. And so I thought it was important to, you know, they reached out to me and, and wanted me to come, the, the Arlington NAACP uh, wanted me to come speak at their event. And uh, it was a forum with the Democrat uh, county chair. And I thought it was great. And you know, a lot of people came up to me afterward and said how much they really appreciated the fact that that I was, you know, reaching out to a community that they felt like Republicans hadn't done a very good job of reaching out to. Um, some of them said they, you know, didn't agree with anything I said, which is which I expected. But you know, there were some that said, "Hey, you, you said a lot of things I agree with." And you know, that that uh, we actually recorded it. It's online if you look up the NAACP. Uh, Arlington chapter. It's on their uh, Facebook page, I believe. So uh, okay, you know, good. I was really looking for that. It. Yeah. All right. Well, then also before we even get into any news, looking at just what you have going on, y'all have a big event coming up this weekend in just two days. Uh, a lot of Republicans are really upset with the lawfare and these uh, these um, you know uh, prosecutions of Donald Trump that are clearly political and and not uh, not not based in anything real and trying to elevate, you know, misdemeanor things or, you know, miscalculations into felony charges. It's just totally absurd. Most people recognize that. And so we're just having a big rally in downtown Fort Worth to uh, to show our uh, support for Donald Trump and uh, against these um, against the lawfare that we see, you know, taking place around the country, for not only Donald Trump, but for, you know, for people who who just have supported him. And so, you know, we need to take a stand and stop this kind of nonsense or it's going to affect everybody. All right. But th- it says on the uh, the post you have here on X that there's a march that starts at the JFK Memorial in downtown Fort Worth. Man, I don't want to be doing cardio. It, well, you know, it's going to be a leisurely walk. Uh, it's really only about a 20 minute walk. So I think most people, if they want to participate in the march, uh, can, can probably handle that. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be music. It's going to be very patriotic. It's a family friendly event. Um, you know, unlike the, the sexualized drag shows that Democrats like to put on, we're, we're going to be having a family friendly, wholesome event celebrating our country and uh and standing in solidarity with uh with who we believe is our next president right and there's going to be a lot of people you recognize there Bo french the guy i'm talking to who's going to be there Rog williams beth van dyne but none of y'all are going to be wearing a speedo and a dolly parton wig i imagine you know we're going we're to leave all that stuff at home uh we we think uh, we'll just we'll leave that to the democrats <laughs> all right well the the thing i actually wanted to talk to you about is the political persecution that that is continuing here in the state of texas uh, there are many doctors, uh, one of which is is been highlighted because her case is uh, being uh, fumbled right now. She's in trouble for treating patients during COVID with drugs that weren't approved by the elites here, Bo French. And so she had her license taken away, and the process by which she gets it back keeps uh, coming up in in, to, in front of obstacles. And while she didn't lose one patient. With her treatments during COVID, she still hasn't got her license back. Well, I think this case just highlights what we many of us suspected during COVID, and that was that the the the, the government line coming, you know, as directed by the White House, and and many doctors fell in line with that. Social media companies fell in line with that. Um, was that there was only one thing we could do to to solve the COVID problem, and all the other things that were actually working you know, didn't, didn't work, right? They were trying to make us believe that they didn't work. They censored people for talking about that. And of course, her case is, is pretty incredible if, if you read into it, because you're right, she absolutely was 
prescribing the things that we know and you know we, we are now proven to, to work and and everything that the government told us was going to work didn't work i mean masks didn't work the vaccine didn't stop the spread at all um so you know i think a lot of this uh a lot of this has driven where we are today where more and more people are waking up to just how badly um you know how out of control our government is and this really is the it's the same swamp you know when people talk about the swamp they're talking about this kind of sickening relationship between uh you know like big pharma companies paying off politicians and paying off doctors uh to provide you know she gave up a lot of money by not following what the big pharma companies were wanting her to do and said she just treated patients which is you know her obligation as a doctor and um and and she saved a lot of you know a lot of patients um, recovered just fine under her care Uh, all of them did in fact so you know she's a hero and yet they're prosecuting her um, you know, threatening to you know take her license away, and so it, it's really a terrible situation. Well, I'm I'm glad y'all are putting a light on this because there's been some convulsions in the medical community, not just because of COVID, but because of all these these trans issues. And y'all had shared out on X a couple days ago about how the American uh, Pediatric Association, the pediatric doctors, came out against uh, trans therapy for minors. And really, shouldn't that be a huge story? But, you know, if, you, if you're not going to put a light on it, few will. Yeah. You know, listen, I think this is just part, part of what I hope to do is uh, in my position here as, as the Republican county chair in Tarrant County is just shine a light on issues like this. Because I think most people, most average people would just agree that these things are terrible. right? And so but, you know, we we're busy with our daily lives and families and work and things like that. And not everybody is, you know, reads into these things. But, you know, highlighting them, shining a little light on them is, is good for the process. And hopefully we'll wake up enough people that in November uh, we have a, a landslide election. Well, y'all are the largest red county in America. You're the guy at the tip of that spear. What do y'all have going on that I need to know about so I'm not caught off guard and finding out about it a couple days later? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, we're, we're going to be doing lots of things in the lead up to the uh, to the election. You know, we're working closely with the RNC. We're working closely with the Trump campaign. We're working closely with the Ted Cruz campaign um, because Tarrant County is, is definitely a focus in Texas, it's kind of seen as the bellwether for Texas. You know, they, it's, it's, it's kind of understood that how Tarrant County goes, so goes the rest of the state. And we know the Democrats are organized. They're registering voters. Um, their, their voter rolls have certainly increased uh, over, the, over the years as, as more people have moved into Tarrant County. And it's a, we're two and a half million people in Tarrant County. It's a, it's a large county. It's, I mean, pretty much the same size as Dallas County now. Y'all have enough uh, volunteers is, you know, for poll workers and whatnot? So yeah, we are. We're doing trainings for for poll watchers, for poll workers. Um, we are, um, you know, staffing those now. We're, we've already started that process. Um, so you know, we are full bore, full steam ahead, working to make sure we have the ground game and the election integrity uh, of having the right people at the polls and poll watchers, so that we can ensure we have a, a safe and fair election here in Tarrant County. All right, this is Bo French. He runs. He's the chairman of the Tarrant County GOP. Thanks for being on the James Show again. You got it, James. Thank you so much. Yeah, and if you wanted to get more information, I know I have a lot of Tarrant County listeners in the WBAP audience. That march and that rally that's happening this Saturday, there's info on that. You can find it on his uh, X page, Bo underscore French underscore TX. I'm James Parker. This is The James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3.